Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Hudson Valley Brewing. These guys are up in New York. This is the Babylon. And what that is, this was sent to me by Lucas. And the note that he sent uh, says a sour IPA with raw wheat, malted oat, milk sugar, and blood oranges. So, uh, a sour IPA. So, uh, don't do a lot of sour IPAs, guys. Uh, most of those sours are just wild ales or uh, lambic style beer, stuff that they've used, uh, either spontaneously fermented or wild ale yeast and stuff on it. But as far as the IPA style, where they hopped it up quite a bit, uh, uh, unusual pairing. Well, it is for me, for this guy, because I, I don't remember doing a whole lot of uh, sour IPAs. I love IPAs, and I'm still trying to wrap my arms around the sour style of beers. Definitely an acquired taste that I have not acquired yet. So, let's see what this one brings to the table. Uh, it gets a lot of good uh, reviews and marks on this beer, so uh, uh, we shall see. Uh, this is about a big beer. It's a six percenter. Uh, see if I have any IBUs. Nope. Untapped does not have anything and neither does Beer Advocate. Uh, the commercial description on this is exactly the same as what I read to you other than it's hop with Galaxy Hops. So, first beer of the day for me. So let's see what we got here. A big 16 ounce can. So uh, let's get the top popped on this. And see what we got. Very hazy coming out. Looks like a juice bomb coming out. Well, I pour this guy's Altaita Cuisine is curry and Thai, cheese and pepper, Monterey pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I'll add grilled meat to that. Uh, glass water pint, back and night, tumbler mug, sign side dell. I'm using my favorite tulip glass and not recommended for extended sourings. And it does have a date on the bottom that says drink now, January 25th of 18. And today is the 24th, so it's right at a month old in the can. Uh, good looking beer, very cloudy, does look like a juice bomb. Uh, did pour a very big head, but is uh, very orangey in color, like orange juice would be. Let's get it to the nose. Got a little bit of the sour yeast coming out right off the bat. It's not super, I would not consider it a juice bomb in the aroma. I'm not getting a lot of pine, grapefruit, or anything like that. I am getting some citrusiness. And some earthy hops. And a little bit of orange. Just, uh, I mean, it's, uh, as far as the typical New England style juice bombs, it's a little subdued in the aroma. Definitely got the appearance, though. I mean, that does look like orange juice in the glass, guys. Well, let's see what we got on a sour IPA. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Lucas. Definitely getting a thought. It's not overpowering sour. To me, it tastes a lot like unsweetened grapefruit juice, guys. That's exactly where I'm getting, what I'm getting from this. Maybe a hint of some uh, oranges, but uh, the puckeriness that I'm getting, it, it reminds me of like unsweetened grapefruit juice.
Definitely drinkable. That's pretty nice. A nice change up from your typical IPA. Definitely different, but very tasty. Maybe this will help me get into the sours a little bit more. Well, let me get the back end of the pour in there. I don't see how it could possibly change the appearance any. I don't see any big chunks or, or big floaties uh, coming out of the bottom of the can. Didn't change the appearance whatsoever. Good looking beer. Fairly nice tasting beer. Well, let's try it out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up and see if anything changes. Uh, and uh, let her taste it and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Very tasty. Very, very tasty beer. The sourness of it doesn't mean to be too heavy to me. To me, guys, it tastes like unsweetened grapefruit juice, maybe with a little bit of pineapple and oranges in there. Very tasty. I enjoyed this. This would be probably something I would buy. I wouldn't want to drink it every day, but it's a very nice change. I would consider this a juice bomb, guys. I mean, very cloudy. Looks like orange juice in the glass. Doesn't have a super big hop aroma like most of them do, but it's Slightly different style being a sour IPA. Final chug. Definitely getting the sourness on the nose. But it doesn't seem to be too heavy on the palate. Not causing me to do all those funky facial expressions being too sour. Pretty nice. I enjoyed this. Guys, I think this is an A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it an A. Uh, uh, it has a date on the bottom of it. It has the ABV on it. Uh, doesn't have the IBUs. It, and a lot of these guys in New England and some other parts of the country uh, like to keep the IBU secret on their beers. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, so we got two out of three anyway. To me, guys... Uh, I'm going to give this A minus. I'm going to put it at uh, 94. That's where I'm going to put this right on the door of being a solid A. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 4.32 in their outstanding range. Also A minus. And over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.34. Uh, I would consider that in their A category. Just getting into their A category because you got to grade those guys on a curve a little bit. So, uh, uh, pretty tasty beer. Definitely worth picking up if you're into the juice bomb style beers, and especially if you like sour beers, too. A little bit of combination of both on this particular one. So, quite enjoyable. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely tasty to me. So, if you've had this one from Hudson Valley Brewing, this is their Babylon uh, Sour Slash IPA Ale. Uh, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.